I just bought a Lego set, a Lego set, a Lego set. I just bought a Lego set. Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Let's turn on the light. Oh no! The light bulb is blinking. It should be in here somewhere. Let's see, we got <gasps> Stranger Things. A good set. If you haven't picked it up, you should. You've got the tree house. Awesome. There it is. Probably can't see it, but it's the bad cave. It's the Lego DC Comics superhero set number 76052 Batman classic TV series Bad Cave. Look at that. 2,526 pieces. Downright crazy. Look at this. It's the Batmobile. Let's look at this set. Here you get Bruce Wayne, Dick Grayson, the old man, Batman, Catwoman, Penguin, Robin, Joker, and the Green Goblin. Nah, no, just kidding, it's Riddler. You get so much stuff in this set, like Robin's helicopter, the Batmobile, and for some reason you get the Batcave too. You look at the back, and look at this! You can do all kinds of stuff with this set. So many references to the old show from the 60s. This set retired a few years ago. It came out in 2016, retired 2018. To get this set secondhand, you gotta pay at least 300, if not more. I managed to get mine for $290. Still a lot of money, but for a Lego collector like myself, it is worth every penny. So now you might be asking, why did I buy this? Well, as you can see, Lego just made a new set right there. See, you see it, you see it? I know, it's crazy. The 1960s Batman show was a show I used to watch when I was a kid. I don't know why since I didn't grow up in the 60s, but my parents always had it on TV. I watched it, got to watch the great Adam West play Batman. It was really cool. You got to watch Dick Grayson. You got to watch Alfred. You got to watch Joker. A few years ago when Lego made this set, I won it because I had a connection with the 60s show from my childhood when I watched it. And of course, back when the set came out, I didn't have the money to buy this set, and I was still a teenager at the time. So a few years later, when I, you know, have saved up some money and stuff, which is hard to do, Lego announced that they were coming out with a new set, a new Batmobile. And I figured that this was the perfect time to buy the set, because I feared that this set could possibly go up. And if it went up in price, there was the possibility I would never get my hands on it. And I wanted this set for so long because I had a connection with it from when I was a kid. I watched the 60s show. I watched the 66 Batman movie. I remember watching the show and watching Batman and Robin turn that statue like so. And they would go down to the Batcave on those poles, slide down, become Batman and Robin, change. Somehow they would change midair. I never figured out how. Then they would get in the Batmobile and then they would fight bad guys. Robin would get in his copter sometimes, fly around Gotham City, they would share a motorcycle like this, they would drive in the Batmobile, and they had a phone in the car. It was pretty cool. They had a cell phone in the 60s. Well, a cell phone with a cord, but you get the point. So when Lego made this set, I needed it. I needed to put it in my collection. So that's about it. It's not a great story, but it's a story. Until next time, this is Marvin. See you next time.